This video introduces the Vertical 1050 iPhone and will show you how to use your new phone. Your phone has six main components. These are the handset, the keypad, the display, fixed keys, soft keys, and flexible keys. We'll cover the basic features of your new Vertical 1050 iPhone and then we'll move on to more advanced features like the flex keys and soft keys. The features and functionalities we will cover are the same for all of the 1000 iPhones. The number of flexible buttons will differ. Flexible keys can be configured as speed dials or can be assigned to other system features such as park and page buttons. If the flex key is assigned to an internal extension, it will illuminate when the extension is busy. If the key is flashing, the extension is ringing. There are 36 programmable keys in total, accessible across three pages. To scroll through the additional pages, press the down arrow on the central navigation button. To call an extension that is programmed on a flex key, simply press the key next to the name that is assigned and lift the handset. Or lift the handset first and then press the flex key. To place an external call, either lift the handset or simply start dialing nine plus your 10 digit number. Press pound at the end of your dialing sequence to complete your dialing. Please check with your system administrator to verify if a nine is required before your 10 digit number. To answer your phone, simply lift the handset or to answer in speakerphone mode, press the speakerphone button. To transfer a call to an internal extension that is programmed as a flex key, simply press the OK button while on the call, scroll to find the extension you want to transfer to, press the flex button, and you can announce the call and then hang up, or simply hang up to blind transfer the call. To transfer a call to an external number, press the programmed flex key, or press transfer, dial nine, your 10 digit number, and announce the call or simply hang up for a blind transfer. Check with your system administrator to verify if a nine is required. To place a call on park, press okay, scroll to find the park flex key button, and press the park key. Anyone that has that button programmed on their phone will be able to simply press the park button to access the call. Normally your system will be programmed using either park or shared line appearances. When using shared line appearances, they will be identified as line one in this example, will ring on the program flex key. Simply answer the phone, to place the call on hold, simply press hold. Calls will show us hold on hold on other phones that have that shared line appearance, line one. To pick up that held line, press the line one button. To access your voicemail, press the message button, followed by the digit two, and enter your password. You have no new message. Once you are logged in, listen to the options and press the relevant number to manage your messages. If you have a general voicemail box or an operator voicemail box programmed on your phone, to access the messages, such as on this example, press the program flex key, press the mailbox button, enter two. Please enter your password. Enter your password plus pound. You've got one new message. So this message was recorded on the 18th of August, 2022, at 12.07 p.m. Please return my call at 217-555-1212. To delete the message, press 1. The message has been... As you can see, we've listened and deleted the message and the light has turned off. To initiate a page, dial your page code or simply press the program flex key. Announce your page. Brian, you have a call on line one. 
Best practice is to lift the handset to page. To initiate a conference call, press the conference button, press nine, dial, dial your 10 digit number, wait for the caller to answer, press conference again. Now you have the three parties in your conference group. To add multiple parties, simply repeat the process. If one of the parties hangs up, it will go back to, we go back to the original caller. To initiate a conference room meeting, answer the call, press transfer, dial your conference room number. Now you have entered the called party to your conference room. The first conference room party will hear music on hold if you have it programmed until someone else joins the conference. If I would like to join this conference from the inside, I simply press 701 pound. Now I have joined the conference room. There are two of us in this conference. A third person has just joined. The conference rooms can also be password protected in which you would be prompted to enter the appropriate password before entering the room. Also, please check with your system administrator for the correct conference room numbers. You can also point a DID to a conference room as a direct way to gain access from the outside world. As people hang up, you see that the number changes. And once everyone hangs up, now we've gone down to two, I can hang up my last caller can hang up and I stay in the conference room. That's where my music will come into play because only one person is in the conference now. To pick up a ringing call at another internal extension, you can scroll to find your pickup button here, press the button to pick up the call or you can have a program pickup button on your flex keys. Press the do not disturb button, puts the phone in DND mode, which declines all incoming calls and is programmed to go directly to your voicemail unless otherwise directed differently. You can activate DND when your phone is ringing by pressing the DND button and will decline the current call and send it to voicemail. To forward your phone, scroll to the next page, press forward, Enter your forward type. One is unconditional forwarding, two is busy, three is no answer, four is busy no answer, and pound is to cancel. In this example, we're going to do busy no answer. I pressed four, I can enter my number. I can either enter an internal number or an external number. In this example, I'm going to enter an external number. I'm going to dial nine plus my number and press save. My phone is now forwarding anytime someone calls this phone. To turn this off, press your speakerphone, press DND, and now forwarding has been shut off. To use redial, simply press the redial button. Please note that it will call the last call that you made regardless if it's inside or outside. You may want to use your log soft key button to use your redial feature by scrolling through. The mute button can be pressed at any time to mute your handset's microphone or speakerphone depending upon the mode you are in. Your volume up and down keys will adjust the volume for your ringing, your handset, and speakerphone. This will keep the settings for each mode. While your phone is idle, you can press the log soft key button that will display your last 100 calls that you've made or received. Scroll through the records to highlight a call and press the select button to see more information on that call or send to dial the number. To change your ringtone, press the menu button then press 2 for ring. You can change your intercom ringtone or your trunk ringtone, which is your outside calls. Select the
the ringtone you would like to change, we're going to do intercom. Press OK for the key set ring source. Now you're going to dial 1 through 16. Once you select the one that you like, press OK. That saves your ringtone. If you would like to use your internal directory, press the soft key underneath the directory. Scroll to 3 for the internal directory. Please keep in mind that this internal directory will show all extensions, all hunt groups, and all shared lines. To dial by name, simply spell the name with the keypad. In this example, I'm going to search for shop. I'm going to press 7, 4. You see it's narrowed it down, there is shop. I can simply press send to call this extension. If you want to toggle between the calendar and your flex key programming, press the OK button. If you find that your speakerphone is not working, verify that the headset button is not illuminated. Simply press the headset button and it will turn it off.